Greetings, welcome to the Live 365 video tutorial on how to convert your audio files into MP3 format on Windows PC. First, pull up your browser and go to dvdvideosoft.com. What we are going to look for here is a software called Free Audio Converter. This is free software with no spyware that will let you convert any of your audio files into MP3 format. As you see here on the bottom of the page, on the right, there's a link for free audio converter. Go ahead and click on that link. Go ahead and choose download. It's a 23 megabyte file. Once you've downloaded the file, go ahead and install it. Alright, now that I have the free audio converter software installed, first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to Add Files. Choose some files that you want to add. See, in my music folder I have different files and formats. Let me go ahead and grab a WAV file. Okay, as you see it's here in the little box at the top. Next you want to ensure that you're checking out the next bar down, which is the Save 2. So when you convert this WAV file to MP3, you need to know where it's going so you can utilize it later. Right now it's saving to my music folder, which is fine. You can always change this by clicking these different icons here for the folder or to open the folder. Of course you want it to be in MP3 format. Live 365 stations only accept MP3 format files. Okay. On the bit rate, uh, go ahead and choose the old standard. 128 44 1 kilohertz. Click on the convert. You'll see it starts to process and convert. Once it's done, go ahead and close. Once the file has been converted, let's go ahead and look for it in my music folder. Okay, so it looks like it's right here. Let me right click properties. And it is an MP3 file. It's the way as we see in my name, it still has that there, but it's an actual MP3 file. Go ahead and close this application. Okay, so now that the file has been converted to MP3, you can go ahead and load this into your Studio 365, Studio 365 Loader, or Web Uploader software. This will upload the file to your server for your station, which you can then put in a playlist in Queue to Play. This concludes our video tutorial. For any more questions or more information, visit the link in the description box below. Thank you.